Hey, what's up guys, it's Trevor with Embers uh, Living. Today we have a new top five video for you. This is the Mac Daddy category. We've been working on our top five list. We've had our top five quality grills, our top five premium grills. Now it's time for the top five what? Luxury. Luxury. What does luxury mean? What do you think of when you think of luxury? The best of the best. The best of the best, the best you got is the best of the best? Yep. Okay, well we'll go with that. Um, these are like the Rolls, Rolls Royces, the Mercedes Benz, the Ferraris of barbecues. Question is, is which one is rated one? Which one is the best grill on planet Earth? Should we find out? Let's find out. So since we're doing the luxury class, number five, probably want these clean, right? Oh yeah. Aren't you supposed to do that before we start the videos? Mm -hmm. You are? That's what I thought. Why am I doing it? I don't know. Huh? You don't know? It's like driving around a BMW that's all dirty. Like nobody wants that, right? Okay. Number five. <laughs> All right, this is number five, guys. This is the Blaze Pro Series. Now, before we get started on this, a couple things. Luxury category is exactly what it sounds like. These are the upper echelon of grills. So even though I have them ranked five through one, you won't find better barbecues, even the number five ranked Blaze. Like, there's nothing to complain about with these grills. That's how awesome they are. And so you will be happy with any of these five because you're gonna spend big time bucks on. The Blaze Pro out of the five is the most affordable. Um, we shouldn't throw the word affordable around too much when it comes to the luxury category. But this is the Blaze Pro. This is the four burner. You can get it one size smaller in the three burner. It comes as a built-in and a cart model. When you do the cart model, the cart does come pre-assembled. You do get soft closed storage drawers. It's a pretty nice cart. So that's pretty sweet as well. Um, let's get under the hood. All 304 stainless steel, of course it looks sharp. We have a nice control panel here. Um, it's really nice and beefy. I think it looks pretty attractive too. Of course, anything in the luxury category, we're gonna have interior exterior lighting. <laughs> That's a given, right? Do we even have to mention that? Mm -hmm. No, it just comes with the grill. So if you're worried about lighting, don't even think about it with the luxury. In fact, we should just stop even mentioning it. They all come with lights, right? I'll come with rotisseries. You don't have to worry about that. We're not gonna really have much to review because they all come with everything. <laughs> that wasn't funny, why'd you laugh? Because it was funny. No, it wasn't that funny. All right, we have our warming rack. Pretty standard. We have our infrared rotisserie burner. Now what's kind of unique to Blaze, they're one of the only ones that have the, the shaped cooking grate. So, they have the hexagon cooking grates, and they are very heavy duty, which you'll see in all the top five. They're very, very heavy duty. So there's our cooking grates, and then they use these sort of sear diverters. Now, get a close up here. What's cool about these little sear diverters is our entire surface area is covered. And then see these solid spots? That's where it's gonna protect our burners, but this is gonna help with flare ups. And of course, it covers the entire barbecue. Um, here's our burners itself. It's more of a cast stainless H burner, which of course is very heavy duty and creates a high BTU output. And this sort of H style is gonna help with even heat distribution. We have a match lit option as well. And then they're gonna be a little piezo spark igniters for your ignition system. And then, so what this match is, is let's say for some reason your igniter's out, you can just drop a match down there and it'll ignite your burner for you. Also, we get these little little stations, I guess you call them in here. And what these do is they help with temperature control. So if you want one burner running cooler, one running hotter, it makes somewhat of a difference, but not a huge difference. Um, so yeah, that's it in a nutshell. I'll include a full link if you want a full, full breakdown of this grill, but that's pretty much it. Now, the question is, why is it ranked number five? Why isn't it ranked higher? Well, 
let me digress. It's also in there because Blaze has a lifetime warranty on this grill, so they're a very reputable company. They're a very solid company. They're not going anywhere. Um, they're vi very financially sound. Um, they're doing a great, great job. So this grill is backed with a lifetime warranty, which sort of bumps it up based on its features into that luxury category. Why it's not ranked higher? As we get into it with the other grills, you'll see. What I would like to see in a luxury category when you're dropping, you know, five grand or so on this grill, which by the way, our luxury category, we're, we're typically seeing between, you know, 4,000 plus, $4,000 plus, you're in a luxury category. Um, I would like to see a spring assisted hood because this grill is so heavy duty. This lid is very heavy, so it doesn't have a spring assisted hood. For the, for the price it costs, I think they could throw one in there. And then you'll see when we get into some of our other grills, it doesn't have as much vertical, even though it's taller than like the Blaze LTE, it doesn't have as much vertical real estate in the grill, which we'll talk about as we get into the videos. So that's the Blaze Pro. I would say if you're shopping in that luxury category, but you're still on, you're not trying to go crazy, you're still on a budget, um, take a look at the Blaze Pro. I think it might be a good fit for you or if you're allocating funds el elsewhere for your outdoor kitchen. So that's really common is we may have a customer that has a $20,000 budget, but they can't spend the whole thing on a grill. They need to, you know, they have refrigeration to buy side burner, storage drawers, things like that. So if you, have, if you have to allocate your funds to other parts of your outdoor kitchen, the Blaze Pro is a great sort of compromise while staying in that luxury category. So that's the Blaze Pro. Should we go on to number four? Yep. All right, number four. So this is the Fire Magic Echelon series. So this is gonna be the most expensive or highest end product that is offered by Fire Magic. The Echelon comes in various sizes. Again, you can do built-in or a cart model. We very rarely sell the Fire Magic cart models. Zane's driving me crazy today. He's just driving me nuts. He's always interrupting me. Um, we very rarely sell their cart models, even though they're awesome. Most people are doing this in an outdoor kitchen, the, the Fire Magic. Um, what do we like about the Fire Magic? Well, we do get some nice upgrades compared to the Blaze, and let's talk about them. Again, we have a full-length video where we spend a lot more time in depth on this. First thing, you, well, you don't notice it. <laughs> I notice it because I'm the one lifting it up, is we get a spring-assisted handle, and it's like a compact spring in there. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's all, wound up on this joint here. So that is, when you have a lid this big, that's important. Um, it just is, it just helps a lot. So that's what's really cool about it. Again, you can see solid 304 construction on this grill. Let's talk about the cooking grates. Their cooking grates are gonna be more of this flat surface. Now this flat surface is supposed to retain a little more heat and help with sear marks and things like that. So you're gonna be in good shape there. We also have our rotisserie burner. Again, of course, rotisserie, interior, exterior lighting, all come standard with the grill. Here it is here. And again, they're using sort of this sear diverter type style. I don't know if it's really called sear diverter. I just say that. I don't think that's a real name. Do you? Sounds very, very professional. It does sound professional. I'm professional. So anyways, they did add this cool little feature where they have the returns on the side. Again, that just helps with each burner to sort of retain its own heat. Again, we have the H burner style. So this little lip's gonna help protect our, our burner ports. So that's the H burner. Again, a cast stainless, very heavy duty, awesome burner. Of course, we have our rotisserie spit rod. But what makes Fire Magic unique? I'm gonna tell you, one thing that makes each grill unique in the top five, the Blaze was is that it, it's in that luxury category, both still remaining somewhat affordable. The rest of the grills are a lot more expensive, but what makes Fire Magic unique is Fire Magic is, it's kind of like old reliable, you could say. Like when I, when I look at a Fire Magic grill, like it's pretty, but I'm, I'm never like, wow, I love that grill. You know, is it just me? Does it just not do anything for you? That being said, I personally own one of these for five years, cooked on it at home. It is awesome. What it makes the Fire Magic so cool. 
the firebox is super deep on this. So this has one of the deepest fireboxes that we're gonna test here. And because of that, our burners sit lower and that helps promote even heat and issues with flare-ups. I promise you, when I cooked on this for five straight years, I never once had flare-ups. So it does an off awesome job. So Fire Magic to me, it's a touch boring. Now when I say it doesn't do anything for me, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just a touch boring to me. But owning it for five years, maybe that's why it's boring because I just had it for, for a bit. Um, it's also extremely reliable and proven and been around for a very, very long time. It's like your grandpa. You know, you can just always count on him, right? <laughs> Am I right or wrong? You're right. Yeah. You laughed that time at that joke. Yeah, so it's, it's, a, it's a champ. Um, does have digital controls, I'm not a huge fan of them. They don't really do much except alarm you when certain zones reach temperatures. Infrared burner is optional. So you can do all the cast stainless or you can do a drop in infrared if you want. So you can sort of mix and match your combinations. So that's the fire magic in a nutshell. You want more details, check out the video. All right, should we go on to number three? All right, time for number three. Now this is an Alfresco product, one of our favorite products. There's a cook model, so it's dirty, because Elijah doesn't clean the grills like he's supposed to. Uh, so it's not gonna look as pretty as the other ones, but that, that's okay. We need to talk about it. What do we like about our friends at Alfresco? Well, of course, like any of the top five, awesome, awesome quality products, lifetime warranty, backed by a good company. You notice right away we get a spinning handle, that's kind of a, a neat feature. And again, spring assisted hood, which is helpful. We have our rotisserie kit. Now what's cool about these guys is their rotisserie motor, what's unique to them, a couple of things. Their rotisserie motor is hidden, so you don't see that. For example, look at that on the Fire Magic. Look at that big old hunk. You don't have that here, so it's, it's nice and compact. And then there's just a little, little button here. Where is it? There it goes. See, then our rotisserie starts going. So, pretty sweet. Also too, it does have the spring assisted hood, but I would say what else makes Lynx, or not Lynx, uh, Alfresco unique. I'm getting ahead of myself. Alfresco unique is how sturdy this hood is. So this is like really, really well lined and it's super thick and it just feels, feels like one of the tougher hoods, if that makes sense. It just feels super beefy. Also this line right here, this is for airflow and this is on purpose. So your control panel is never really hot to the touch. It always stays cool, which is really nice, especially in like a commercial setting or if you have kids around and stuff. Solid cooking grates. Oh, should I be getting in here? Look at those things, they're dirty. We cook on this a lot. It's one of our favorite grills. 304 stainless, rock solid. There, they have the infrared burner, and then what's super cool is over the infrared burner, they have these little V-shaped guys, so your juices and everything can get locked in the cooking grates, which is super cool. Again, a nice deep firebox, our infrared burner, which can turn down if we need it to. And then instead of our sear diverters, we have, look at these, look at these guys we have our ceramic briquettes. Now, ceramic briquettes I sort of have a love-hate with because they can create flare-ups if you don't stay on top of them. Like this one, if it gets really dirty, you have to be careful with it because that will create flare-ups. But if you keep these clean by flipping them over, burning everything off before or after your cook, then you're in good shape. Now, they use a U-shaped burner in here. Now, what's cool about their burners is they're also titanium-infused, so even though they're just regular stainless steel, they're not cast or anything. These puppies are crazy heavy duty. So they're not gonna warp or pop or anything. That's also a lifetime warranty, high BTU as well. What else is really cool about Alfresco is we get the integrated smoker box with a smoker burner. And so that's what makes Alfresco unique in a nutshell. Again, we'll have a review. We have a full length review if you wanna see it. I'm gonna wash my hands quick, then let's get to number two. All 
Okay, let's get to number two, guys. Now, you know, probably noticed a, a wardrobe change. We had some equipment malfunction, so this is the next day. So we're continuing the video. All right, number two is gonna be the Lynx Professional Series. Lynx is one of my favorite gas grills. There's a lot that I like about it. Now, you guys are probably gonna get after me here because this, to some of you, is not a very important feature, but I think in a luxury category, this particular feature matters. I think this is one of the more attractive grills that's sitting here. Don't you think? Just really nice, clean lines. Yeah. It's really sharp. Um, I love the attention to detail in the hood, sort of this uh, brushed stainless and more shiny stainless steel. I just think this control panel is nice and clean. It's just really, really sharp looking. So I think aesthetically, this is one of the better looking grills. Um, and Lynx, you know, of course, is associated with Viking. So sort of the appliance world type, type product. So you sort of see that carried over into the outdoor kitchen setting, which is super cool. Of course, rotisserie and interior lighting is gonna be standard. Um, we do have sort of the spinny handle system. That's what I call it, the spinny handle. Um, then we have spring assisted hood. This here, like these, the other ones are like the Alfresco and the Fire Magic. It's, it's more of a, uh, a wound spring, I guess you could call it. These, I do feel like sometimes if the, they get overheated, they can warp and then they start making an, an annoying noise. Not a huge deal, but I think the spring systems, the other models are better. Our warming rack can uh, be hidden, tucked out of the way. What's really cool is their um, rotisserie kit is variable speed. So we have three settings, low, medium, and high. So I would say out of the grills, they have the nicest rotisserie kit. And then also we have a two tiered setting. So again, like all the luxury grills, a lot of vertical space in the grill. We have a upper setting and then we could lower it and put our rotisserie motor on this lower setting if you wanted it lower or further away from your rotisserie burner. So that's really cool. Nice solid stainless steel cooking grates, just like all the luxury grills. Nothing new to report there. But here's the money, the money feature for Lynx. Remember I said each one sort of has something unique. What Lynx has that really I've no other grill brand I've seen has um, is gonna be the all trident infrared burner. So take a look at these bad boys. So it's infrared, but what it is, is it's not a big block, like a big hunk of ceramic. It's sort of this trident style. So this trident style creates bars. So for even heat distribution all the way across the grill. And then what makes it super unique is going to be the fact that um, the problem with infrared normally is that it's super high heat and you can't go low with it. Well, being that this whole grill you can order as all Trident, um, that would be a problem. So they're the only manufacturer that actually can turn down to 300 degrees. So they have that variability with infrared heat. So for me, like there's other ways you can order it with their ceramic burners and stuff like that. If you're ordering a Lynx, only do it with the all Trident. That's the only way I would order it. Um, that's what sort of makes Lynx stand apart from its competitors, and it is a superior cooking system. And uh, that's sort of their little niche, I guess you could say. So that's why it ranked number two is because of the burners. Burners are important because that's a product that is directly gonna affect how we cook, how our food tastes, how long we cook our food, et cetera. So being that that's such an important feature and they sort of stand alone with that feature, that's why they rank number two. And it's just a very attractive grill, very pretty. Um, so that's the links. You guys ready for number one? I think it's time to get to number one because number one's a big deal. Because this is the luxury category. We've had quality, we've had premium, and now we have luxury. So the luxury is the top of the top. And if you rank number one at the top of the top, that means you make the, in my opinion, which doesn't go for much, you make the best grill that's available on planet Earth. And it's right here. This is a grill by Heston. So they have the Aspire by Heston, which is more of the economy style model. 
Um, this is their loaded up bad boy model. This is the best grill, in my opinion, I have ever tested, I've ever cooked on, I've ever seen in my entire life. So in my opinion, this is the best grill made on planet Earth. I have a really, really detailed review of this, um, but let's just quickly go through why it's ranked number one. The reason it's ranked number one is obviously super high quality materials. And most importantly, you know how each grill I talked about um, features, really nice infrared burners, really deep firebox, nice tall hood, really attractive. All those features are packed into this grill. This grill does everything that all the other grills do, plus some. Problem is you're gonna pay for it. It's very expensive. Let's talk about it, the attention detail. Let's start with the curb appeal. I really like this sort of signature Heston handle. And again, we have a lot of ver vertical real estate in our hood. Really nice beefy hood, nice sharp clean lines. And then like the Alfresco, it's sturdy even on the side. So see how beefy this is here? And even our sides here. I mean, this is just way over engineered. It's way overkill, completely unnecessary. But you know what? There's a lot of unnecessary things in luxury categories. That's just the way it is. And it's stinking awesome. So attractiveness, I would give it a 10. You can do color options as well. It's the only one where you can do that. You can do colored control panels. Of course, you can do built-in or cart. This is a 42 inch, it comes in a 36 and a 30. Now let's get inside the grill a little bit. You notice our lighting. So all the grills have interior lighting. This is the only one though, where the lights are actually in the hood, not in the grill. And then what's cool is get the camera down low. It's on a motion sensor and it will sort of just shut itself off. See that? Now you've also noticed the grill's head is just floating. So they have a superior spring system, the best spring system out of all the grills. Look at that one finger, and no matter where I set it, it's gonna stay. So that's the best hood, to me the most attractive hood. Best performance, best lighting. Cooking grates, you know, they sort of do more of that skillet, like flat style, very heavy duty, very thick. And then they're shaped, see how they're purposely diagonal? That is super cool because that's gonna help if you lay your veggies or something long ways, then you don't have to worry about it. So some better cooking grates and different. And then let's talk about this. So I've talked about my love-hate relationship with ceramic briquettes because one side is always dirty and in a regular one, you can't flip them. You can flip them to clean them, but then before you cook, you gotta flip them back. Heston's are completely asymmetrical, so they're identical on both sides. So before each cook, you flip them, and then your dirty side is just gonna clean off and burn off while you're cooking on a clean side. So you always have a clean surface to cook on. No other grill has that. Awesome, awesome feature. All right, then our burners. Again, no other grill has burners like this. This is a trellis style burner. Now that means it's a high BTU, and then of course, um, we sort of have these little tree or tea branches, and that just helps promote even heat, especially with these ceramic briquettes on top of it. Nothing is gonna have more even heat than a Heston grill. There's a bunch of different ways you can configure this. You can do all trellis burners, is what they call them, or you can do all infrared, which we'll talk about the infrared in a second, or trellis and infrared combo like we have here. These are 321 stainless steel. So they'd be perfectly fine with 304 stainless steel. 321 is basically 304 stainless steel infused with titanium. Of course, they're a lifetime warranty. These are absolutely bulletproof burners. Infrared, they don't turn down quite as much as the Lynx, but they do turn down to 400 degrees. So you still have flexibility compared to other infrared burners. You also notice this is really long and skinny. I like that in a combination because it means from the back to the front of the grill, we have infrared cooking. And then on top of that, also what's really sweet is it's not taking up a ton of vertical real estate this way within the grill, which is really important as well. Last thing we wanna talk about what makes this grill super unique is going to be our rotisserie kit. Just like everything else, they're sort of thought outside the box. Do you see the rotisserie burner? Can't see it, can you? Where is it? Where is it? There it is, it's on the roof. 
So go back and watch my other video. This is useful in several ways. One, your rotisserie kit is gonna go right here. And again, it's a concealed motor uh, like the Alfresco. So see what I mean? It basically has every feature that all the other luxury grills have, plus some. That's really cool. So the motor's hidden, and then we're gonna use our rotisserie here. But because it's up here, this makes this multi-purpose. So in my other video, I did I broiled some leftovers on this warming shelf, and it worked really well. It sort of crisped up the food. So now you have a rotisserie and a broiler. That's, that's, that's a big deal. Because again, it's changing the way we cook. Then these are adjustable as well. So you can have these higher or lower. What you can do is if you're using your, your rotisserie, you can take these out and then use this rack here and they'll just sit out of the way. Awesome feature. They're completely, completely unobstructed out of the way. This grill had some major engineering involved and it was extremely well thought out and they put or added features to make the best grill possible. And they didn't just do it to try to make a marketing gimmick. gimmick. These features are actually useful and change the way you cook. That's the important thing. So for that reason, it is ranked number one. It is the most attractive grill. I think it's the most highly functional grill. It's made with the highest quality components and has the most well thought out materials. And also is backed by a great company with a great lifetime warranty. I just I had to say it, the Heston grill is the best grill made on planet Earth, no question. If you're in the luxury category, this is the grill you want. Now, I'm usually a little more objective. I should say like, you know, the top five, you can get any of the top five because they're all good. These are all good, so I don't mean it that way but this grill is so much better, even though the other ones are so good, it's really hard to beat this grill. If you're in the luxury category, pony up the dough and buy this grill. I'm never that direct. That's how much I like it. I'm trying to get one for myself. Um, that's our top five luxury category. A little too blunt. I should digress a little bit. If you like any of the other ones, go ahead and buy them. They're great grills, but you're missing out on the number one. That's the most strongly opinionated I've been in the top five, don't you think, Elijah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm never that, that bold. Dare I be so bold to do this. Um, you have to have this grill. It's not up for discussion. Buy this grill. You won't be sorry. You might have to take out a mortgage, second mortgage, but trust me, you're gonna want it. Uh, that's our top five. That's a luxury category. This is the best of the best grills that we offer. Um, stay tuned for more. If you're in the Denver, Colorado area, come to our showroom today. Thanks so much for checking out this video. Stay tuned for more as always.